It's right here. What's going on, y'all? I am Jaren, back with another voice analysis. Y'all been playing about these songs. <laughs> I did Jolene and Blackbird, and y'all was like, um, what about these and these and these? <laughs> so I love y'all so much. So I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and do a couple more videos on this album because it is a really wonderful piece of work. So I'm excited to talk about it. And I know you wanted to see me analyze one song in particular, so I'm gonna make sure I get to it in this video. I promise y'all. So y'all, here's my own voice analysis of American Red Requiem, Daughter, and Yaya from Beyonce's Cowboy Carter. love these little tiny runs and things she's doing within the choralness, if you will, or the harmonic chords of this song that she's singing right here. It's really subtle. You really have to listen a little more intently, but you can hear subtle little runs within the harmony. I really like that. Pretend. That's what I'm talking about. Those little tiny subtle runs and stuff like that. That's what I'm talking about. American Requiem. Requiem. She really spreads those vowels. American Requiem. And she uses a lot of these slides within the context of like these phonetic glides, like requiem and these liquid consonants, all these different types of consonants. She uses those consonants or glides or whatever you want to call them to really give some inflection and sweeping motion to the voice. She up there. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. You can hear a little bit more twang. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. You can really hear a little more narrowed brightness up there when she's singing that stuff right there. talking going on while I sing my song can you hear me I said do you hear me I talked about a lot of those actors in the last video that I did talking about Blackbird and Jolene Again, she's using a lot of octaves and open chords in this album. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Octave right there. That's what I'm talking about. That's the octave. That's what I'm talking about right there. And for the record, she low. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Like, <laughs> like she's singing like Twinkie bass, Twinkie Clark bass, okay? <laughs> look at that, look at that now. Look at that, look at that. I love uh, whatever that run was right there. I like how she added a little like creaky voice, vocal fry. Uh, 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 yeah. It kind of kept it more loose in that way. And I also like to look at air, look at air, look at air. You know, I like to think that this is AAVE a little bit. I like to think that, you know, look at, look at, look at, look at air, look at there, not look at there, no, duh, duh, look at there, look at there. But the D is almost like flipped through, look at air, look at air. So it's real loose and relaxed. It's a lot of chatter in here. But let me make myself clear. It's like she ended that last phrase clear right there with like an aspirate throw. Clear. So she ended the phrase on an aspirate offset throw, if you will. Because even the breathiness of the clear had a throw in it. Clear. It had texture in that throw right there. Clear. Can you hear me? Or do you feel me? I 
really appreciate all these different vocal textures that she's using in this album, in this song. Just really exploring sound. I really appreciate that. Oh, uh, a lot of taking up space. Uh, a lot of taking up space. A vocal fry and a lot of throws. A lot of taking up space. Yeah, she's doing a lot of vocal colors in this song. A lot of different textures, a lot of different intentional sound changes or, you know, nuances, colors. Salty tears beyond my gaze. Gaze. Yeah. So it's like she had a glottal stop or like a stop in that gaze. Gaze. Something like that. But she kind of broke it up and then played with the shape of the vowel. The word is gaze, G A Z E. But she said, gaze. So you see how she changed the vowel as she came down. Gaze. Something like that. But she really changed the vowel within the word gaze to play with that nuance of the run right there. Can you stand me? 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 Can you send me? Can we send me? Can you send me? So these kinds of much more relaxed and kind of thrown. Can you send me? Can we send me? Can you? Uh, can you send me? Can we send me? So it's not. Can you stand me? Can we stand me? No, it's chill. Can you send me? Can we send me? some rock vibes ah, 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 a little vocal creak yeah, ah, 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 a little vocal color distortion sound ah, 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 it's almost like she's adding a little air pressure uh, with vocal fry ah, To myself, so it's all like self. It wasn't self. Self. I think to myself, little nasality. Self. You give me like church rock. I like it though. A lot of talking going on. Uh, while I sing my song. Yeah. Do you hear me when I say? Do you hear me when I say? Do you hear me when I say that say it was a little more breathy? So it was thick, 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 breathy and kind of thin. Do you hear me when I say? And she's really playing and emphasizing and dramatizing, if you will, some of these vowel shapes and some of these sounds. Say, you know, yeah, she's kind of chewing it. Yeah. Look up there, look up there. Look up, look, look up, 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 look
it gives me the movements of Bohemian Rhapsody in terms of like the different sections of the song, like A, B, C, A prime, whatever, but also the harmonic structure and the movement in terms of pacing of Bohemian Rhapsody. This is a great opener song right here. Like this is a great like song to start out, you know, all the choral aspects, the rock aspects, the churchy aspects. It's really cool. Yes, in Alabama. when she said when I sing my song it was kind of more of a lead vocal kind of thicker sound but as soon as the words came to talk about the angel's guide and the songs of Abraham kind of got more heavenly in sound kind of got more echoey reverby so you didn't hear as much strong vocals but it kind of got more distant and kind of more ooh, da -da 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 -da. vocal texture vocal painting text painting word painting all that stuff is happening here Again, you hear a lot of those open chords happening in the harmony here. So it's really like open chordal harmony, really major triad, really like consonant harmony. You don't hear a lot of dissonance in this song. I don't think hardly any dissonance except within the runs and kind of the interchanging that happens that I talked about at the beginning of the video, but you don't hear a lot of dissonance. I like how she did the runs on Friends, how they all went together in harmony. Friends! And she sung to the end consonant on Friends. Friends! It's a voice and nasal consonant. N is a voice and nasal consonant, so you can sing to it. Friends! I am the one that cleans me of my father's American Requiem. And I like how the vibrato kind of goes like this. It's not so much together, it's kind of like this. So it gives that more choral, individual voices vibe. Though you hear a lot of Beyonce's voice in the background vocals, the vibrato still is kind of going this way versus this way. So it kind of gives a more thicker texture to the choral choir sound versus this will give more of a cleaner texture because you all know it's her, but the vibrato's going more so this way. Changing the speed of vibrato throughout your takes can give you more of this kind of vibe versus this kind of vibe. <laughs> You know what this also reminds me of a little bit? Schoolhouse Rock. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm getting Schoolhouse Rock with American Requiem a little bit. Blood stains on my custom couture. Your body laid. Vocal fry on that Y glide right there, that Y sound. Your body laid. And the sound here is rather breathy. Dun, 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 dun. It's not da 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 da. You know, it's not super thick. It's lighter and breathier a little bit here. Bathroom attendant let me right in. She was a big fan. Sung to that nasal consonant right there. I really try to stay cool, but your arrogance disturbed my solitude. Now I ripped your dress and you're all black and blue. Look what you made me do. They keep saying that ain't nothing like my father, but I'm the furthest thing from quiet boys and all. It's almost like she's interchanging her breathiness. Oh, 
waters. Na 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 na. And I'm not doing it in the right place, but you see what I'm saying? How she's kind of interchanging the color of that breathiness versus kind of a more thicker sound. Da na 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 na. Something like that. If you cross me, I'm just like my father. I am colder than Titanic water. Help me, Lord, from these fantasies in my head. They ain't never been safe ones. I don't fellowship with these fake ones. So let's travel to White Chapels and sing hymns. Hope it's like the color of her voice is a little more speech like. You know, it's not as thicker or kind of white. As with American Requiem, we had a lot more vocal colors happening at the beginning and things like that. Here it's a little more intimate. Na 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 na. Almost like she's talking in your ear a little bit. You know, kind of that real soft. Da na 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 na. And I feel like the larynx is kind of sitting a little bit more higher versus da 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 da. Kind of brought the larynx up a little bit. So instead of it being down here, you see when I raise the larynx, my color changes. Da na 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 na. So it's a little bit more brighter in sound a little bit because the larynx I feel like is sitting a little bit more higher, a little bit more higher than the other song and in other parts in this album. Old rosaries and singing stained glass symphonies cleanse me holy trinity from this marijuana smoke smell in my hair. I sashayed my dress, did my best impression of a damsel in distress. And you can hear every consonant, every word, like everything is very clear, but it's not overly done or like, you know, oh, it's too much. It's just clear, but it doesn't take away from the vocal line. It doesn't take away from the music. It's just, you can really hear the story she's building in this song, you know? And I really like that. And the story is coming from hearing the words because I'm hearing the articulation and hearing the consonants, hearing what the words are so I can put the context, the plot together, you know, of said storyline. It's alcohol and smell of regret. I lured my kids. Outfit too small to hide my scars Feeling bottled up like battle service brides How long can he hold his breath before he is dead? Consistent vibrato right there. He is dead. Everything is very consistent in vibrato. When she adds it, it's consistent. It's very consistent. to her for putting this in. Shout outs to her for putting this in. This was so smart because I wouldn't have thought about the meaning of the song. And the meaning is basically saying, my heart is heavy without you. My heart languishes when you're not here. My heart is hurting when you're not here, my beloved. And for those who don't know, this is a song called Caro Mio Ben. It's an Italian art song that is found in a book that every singer who studied voice in academia or in high school or privately at some point in their life has sung up until this point. I'm gonna get the book because I have it in my studio. I got it. Hold on. <laughs> Here it is, y'all. Here is the book that I'm talking about. I have the medium high voice because this is one I used when I was in college. <laughs> Still got the CD in it. <laughs> but I'm telling you, this song is in there. So I'm going to show you a page because I'm going to read the poetic translation for you. So the song is on page 35 in this book. So I'm going I'm to pull it up and show y'all that I know what I'm talking about because we've all sung this song. Hold on. Call on me your band. <laughs> it's right here. Call on me your band. Okay, if you have not sung this song as a person studying private voice in academia, you have heard this song. Either you've heard it or you sang it. I actually never sang it as part of my repertoire, but I heard it a million and a half times. And I used to teach this song quite a bit when I first started teaching voice lessons. So the poetic translation is in here. I'm gonna read it for y'all right now what the song means. Though all my bliss, believe me but this, when thou art far, my heart is lorn. 
Same thing, my heart is sad when you're not here. That's what the song is saying. So it's very smart to throw this song in in terms of the context of the song they're in. I thought it was very smart to throw this song in because of what the song means in English. It makes a direct correlation with what's happening here in the song itself. And you can hear a lot of these tall vowels and these more consistent vibrato moments. That Beyonce's doing. And she's adding her own twist to the art song itself, which I love. I personally love. I love making your own rules for your art. Who said I can't do it? Who said this was wrong? This is my song. This is my art. This is my music. I'm going to do what I want. I'm going to sing how I want, you know? And I love that she threw this in there. I love that she threw this in here. <laughs> vibrato is very consistent and legato. You really hear that vibrato come in in every single syllable versus before she kind of had a vibrato place a certain syllables, place a certain parts of the line. But here is in the vowel is a little bit longer now. I like the texture of the choral ensemble under her, kind of the more darker, richer voices. Ooh, while she's here to a video. Up there on that part, I like the texture of those two elements together. that she added her own twist to the end of that line. Ta -ta, whatever that line was, how they added that harmony. I love that. Ooh, I love that. Again, this is my art. I want to do it how I want to do it. I want to sing it how I want to sing it. Those vowels were nice and long and tall and lofty with the vocal slides in there. You know what I'm saying? So it's so the vowel is changing a little bit depending on where she is in pitch because you know certain pitches need like a certain wider shape you know to be executed so the vowel is changing you know depending on what she's doing so it's like a ooh and a o oh, ah going on here and I love that she just kept this operatic you know classical sound in her presentation but still kept the Beyonce too I like it I like it Only Lord from these fantasies in my head Ain't never been safe ones. I don't fellowship with these fake ones. So let's travel to white chapels and sing hymns. Oh, rosary, sing and sting glass symphonies. Cleanse me, holy trinity, from this marijuana smoke smell in my head. Say I'm nothing like my father. Hey, hey, hey. Whatever that rhyme was right there was nice. Yeah, in that head. But you hear now the sound is kind of getting, you know, softer, day crescendo. So it's getting a little more intimate, a little bit more breathy. And it's not as legato or connected as more kind of I'm speaking kind of like inward thought messing with my head these thoughts messing with so it's getting more reflective in vocal color so it's kind of getting more closer and softer you know as she's ending the song here I'm the furthest thing from choir boys and altars double cross me I'm just like my father I am colder than titanic water Fuck with me. Why? Cause I'm a clever girl. Cause I'm a clever girl. So her larynx is up a little bit higher. That breathy sound is there. And then she has a little vocal throats. Even her speaking. Cause I'm a clever girl. So it's really, ah, yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> we snap it. Pretty place. Tom's place. Tom's place. 
So all of these words are elongated. You know, we would say, Tom's please. <laughs> That's what we would say. But it was Tom's vocal throw. Tom's please. We want to welcome you to the Beyonce Cowboy Carter Act 2. Act 2? <laughs> that was cool. I like that. The rodeo chilling circuit. We gonna make it do what it do. Yeah, yeah. Put them hands together. We clapping. We drumming. These yas are quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're not yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-mm. Yeah, 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 B E Y I N C E. Yes, I'm almost like a punched spelling. B E Y I N C E. Yeah, instead of B E Y I N C E. Uh uh. B E Y I N C E. So everything's kind of marcado and emphasized. B E Y I N C E. USA, some more dramatic vowels. USA, with that wobble vibrato. USA, you know I love a good wobble. I love a good bark. USA, that's where I live. <laughs> Some more yodel flips right there. Ooh, chest, head, head. Ooh, and it's really emphasized yodel flip. She wants that texture. Ooh. Beyonce and she's adding that ground on that high part and she's adding a little bit more twang right here too she's showing us she got a little range now not a little bit I mean she got a good range I'm just saying like you know she's showing us a little range okay wildfire burnt his house down wildfire wildfire that wild fire wildfire fire instead of fire fire so the R is let go fire fire F-I-Y-A fire fire Pucker, maybe they'll have a jaw extension there too. Lick a please. Yeah, yeah. Turn up the vinyl and the radio. He can't watch the news nowadays. Oh, I just pray that he don't pass. Keep this crystal on the dash. He gotta keep the faith. She's picking up the vibrations. He's looking for sweet sensations. Vocal colors. So she's punching that verse. Dun, 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 dun. Then. So she was punching it, gritting it, you know, growling it, and then she gets more smoother, a little bit breathier, a little bit more slidey. We're looking for a good Okay, a lot of vocal colors is happening in this song and in this album. Ladies, yeah, fuck it, we shaking. You want to touch it. It's almost like she had like a tremolo, like a shake in her voice. You want to touch it. Yeah, she has like this tremolo, this shake, this really dramatic. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's not. Do you want it? I pop it. I walk it like I talk it. I got your spurs walking. I got you walking, talking. I got you squaring and sparking. A little more lip pucker, a little more dramatic in the vocal line, too. God is the word, but it's good God, good God, good God. The G almost sounds like a K. Good God is so hard. Good God, but G and K come from the same production pattern family, if you will. Good God, good God. So G and K come from back here. Good, k, g, k, okay. Good God, so that G can be emphasized to sound like a K sometimes. You know what this 
reminds me of, I don't know why for some reason it reminds me of Grease, the musical Grease. <laughs> like when I hear this song, I think of Grease. Like every time I hear this, I'm like, oh, it's like Grease. I don't know why. Your pain, yeah. I'm not gonna call my name. So she started down here, world of when got you insane. So she really jumped quite a bit in her voice. Okay, so she went from like the lower, more pucker, lower larynx a little bit. It's a kind of more of a narrowed, gritty sound right there. to New York City. So she's really playing with vocal textures and really getting dramatic and fun with this. All the way down to New York City. And added that shake at the end right there. Big daddy, you so pretty. So pretty. Like pretty. Had a little vocal fry on that pretty, pretty, pretty. She's really dropping that lyrics, puckering them lips. No, 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 no. She's really kind of giving more darkness and warmth down in here. Life is coming every day. Keep my Bible on the dash. Pistol in my seat, just in case I got a blast. I just wanna shake my ass. Had like little eight stops in there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm kind of making the eight sound really quick. The aspirate stop or the aspirate break. Ooh. I just wanna shake my ass. Ooh. Vibrating in love, boy. It's so fine. Ooh. You got me losing my mind. But you are gonna keep the faith. vocal fry in that kind of like a air pressure vocal fry enjoyed this analysis click subscribe down below to click the alert button next week so you know when the next video is posted and give this a thumbs up if you can as well so we can get out to more people and as i will always continue to say to you be vocally bold creative and aware but most of all be vocally you i love y'all so much and i'll see y'all soon